Time to solve some questions. Let us get started with the first question. If the cost of x meters of wire is d rupees, then what is the cost of y meters of wire at the same rate? Well, we have two quantities here, the distance and the cost. Well, the more the distance, the more the cost. So these two quantities are in direct proportion. So let us uh, take the ratios. We have the ratio of distance and the cost. So x by d is one ratio and the another ratio is y meters that is y by let the cost be c. Okay. And that's what we have to find. Now these two ratios are in direct proportion. So I can directly equate this. Right. So c is equals to y d by x and that is the cost. So option D is the correct answer. If the price of 6 toys is rupees 264.37, what will be the approximate price of 5 toys? Well again we have two quantities here. One is the number of toys and another is the cost. Right. So the more the number of toys, the more will be cost. So number of toys is directly proportional to the cost associated, right? Now let us find what are the ratios given to us. So the price of six toys is 264.37. So one of the ratios is number of toys and the cost. So six by 264. We can take 264 because they have asked us the approximate price and these options differ a lot. So I can ignore 0.37, right? Now another ratio is we have five toys and let the cost of those five toys be x. And this is in direct proportion, so I can directly equate this. So x is equal to 264 times 5 by 6. 6 times 44 is 264 and 44 times 5 is 220. So the cost associated with 5 toys is 220 rupees, the approximate cost. So option D is the correct answer. If a quarter kg of potato costs 60 paise, how many paise will 200 grams cost? Well, again, the quantity of potatoes is directly proportional to the costs involved, right? So I can take the ratio of the number of potatoes is directly proportional to the ratio of their cost. Even I can take the ratio of the number of potatoes to cost is directly proportional to the ratio of another number of potatoes to cost. So I can take anything. Let's take the ratio of the number of potatoes which is a quarter kg is 250 grams is to we have 200 grams so 200 is directly proportional to the cost of 250 grams of potato is 60 paise so 60 is to let the cost of 200 grams of potato be x so i have 250 by 200 is equals to 60 by x and therefore x is equals to 60 times 200 by 250 the zero and this zero gets cancelled out 5 fours are 20 5 fives are 25 and then 5 ones are 5, 5 twelves are 60. The 12 fours are 48. So 48 paise is the cost of 200 grams of potatoes. An industrial loom weaves 0 0.128 meters of cloth every second. Approximately how many seconds will it take for the loom to weave 25 meters of cloth? So we have the length of the loom and we have the time taken and the length is directly proportional to the time taken or the time is directly proportional to the length of loom weaven, right? Now in one case we have 0 0.128 meters and the time taken for that is one second. Now what is asked approximately how many seconds will it take for the loom to weave 25 meters? So we have 25 meters of cloth and approximately how much time will it take for that so I can take the ratio of this and it is directly proportional so I can directly equate these ratios so x is equals to 1 times 25 by 0 
So this is equals to 25,000 divided by 128 and that will be equal to 195 point something, right? So the approximate value of time that takes to weave 25 meters of this loom is 195 seconds. A flagstaff 17.5 meters high casts a shadow of length 40.25 meters. The height of the building which casts a shadow of length 28.75 meters under similar conditions will be. Well, we have two quantities, height and the length of shadow. And is height directly proportional to the length of shadow or inversely proportional? To find it out, let us assume that we have the sun here and a pole of height, let's say this much height is there. So the shadow it will cast is will be approximately uh, the same of its height, right? If the pole is of shorter height, the shadow will also be shorter, right? Hence, the height and the length of shadow are entities which are directly proportional to each other. So the height of this flagstaff is given to us, which is 17.5 meters, and it casts a shadow of length 40.25, right? And the height of building is what we have to find out if it casts a shadow of length 28.75. So these are directly proportional, so I can take the ratio and equate them. So x's value is equals to 17.5 times 28.75 divided by 40.25 and that is equal to when you'll solve it you'll get 12.5 so the correct answer is option B